According to a recent report by the UN, our oceans are in big trouble. Much of the world's fresh water is locked up in ice caps at the poles. But thanks to a warming climate, that ice is melting, and it's melting a lot faster than we previously thought. Arctic sea ice is down almost 13% per decade since 1979, and this year's low was tied for the lowest year on record. If we continue business as usual, our world is going to look very, very different. And this isn't something that's going to happen a couple hundred years down the line. This is going to happen within our lifetime. Here are the top 10 scary things that will happen if all the ice melts. Welcome back to Inform Overload, where we overload you with information that maybe you didn't need to know, but now you do, so you can make better informed decisions. I'm Charlotte Dover. Give this video a thumbs up if you care about the future of our planet, and subscribe for spicy news updates and saucy lists that will probably give you anxiety. Our planet is a blue planet. Much of the Earth consists of ocean. Ocean covers 71% of the Earth. Less than 1% of the Earth's water is fresh water, and a large chunk of that fresh Freshwater is locked up in ice caps and glaciers. Did you know that 99% of all the living space on planet Earth exists within the ocean? Well, according to a landmark report on the ocean and cryosphere in a changing climate, which was backed by the United Nations, our planet is going to be a very scary place if the ice continues to melt. In at 10, warming oceans. Marine heat waves are becoming a lot more common and a lot more intense. Warm water might be nice in a bathtub, but it's most definitely bad for our oceans. Why? coral reefs and other ecosystems. We're already seeing huge coral reefs like the Great Barrier Reef in Australia experiencing coral bleaching. Coral bleaching is one of the biggest signs that our oceans are warming up. Without coral, much of the marine life that lives in those coral reefs will die. And it's not just coral reefs that will be affected by this. Kelp forests provide shelter and they nurture sea life of all kinds. But kelp forests are also seeing a sharp decline and they will continue to decline if the oceans keep warming up. And this means extinctions. Rising temperatures starve the upper layers of the ocean of oxygen, which suffocates marine life. And number nine, acidic oceans. As our ocean warms up, so too will their acidity. More carbon dioxide in the atmosphere as a result of greenhouse gas emissions means the carbon dioxide will end up in the ocean. We don't notice this because it's happening underwater, but the ocean is losing oxygen and becoming far more acidic as it's warming up at the surface. That is preventing cooler waters with nutrients from circulating in. According to Nathan Bindoff of the University of Tasmania, worst case scenario, the world is looking at a 95% increase in the total acidity of the oceans. What was once a lush, rich ocean full of life will become a wasteland with virtually no life present, except for a few different types of crustaceans and small fish that have adapted to the harsh conditions. At 8 on our list, less fish and marine animals. The UN report states that marine life populations are likely to decrease by 15%, and fisheries are expected to catch far less 21 to 24% less fish by the end of the century. Guess who eats? a lot of those marine animals. Humans. A lot of humans do. Some areas of the globe will still have marine life, especially in colder areas like the Arctic. In fact, animal populations in Arctic seas are expected to increase, but that's only because they'll have nowhere else to go. The price of fish will also definitely rise as it becomes more scarce. Coming in at 7, more intense weather. Not a fan of hurricanes? I think that goes without saying. But guess what? Hurricanes are only going to get worse as ice melts and oceans warm. Weakened ocean currents will disrupt the circulation of those ocean currents, which which in turn makes weather more severe. It's likely that category 6 hurricanes will be added to the scale, indicating the possibility of faster wind speeds over 180 miles per hour, more rain, and even slower moving hurricanes. And the worst part of a hurricane is a storm surge. In fact, storm surges account for most of the deaths during a hurricane. Storm surges are only going to get worse as the planet warms up, the ice melts, and the sea levels rise. But more on that later. In at 6, worse El Ninos. Tagging on to my last point, as the surface temperature of the water warms up, El Ninos will get worse. El Ninos a climate pattern that happens when the sea surface temperatures in the tropical Pacific Ocean rise above normal levels. As I said before, a warmer ocean affects the climate of our entire planet. And some of the communities that will be the worst affected are the ones in developing countries that rely on their own agriculture and fishing. The people who live within those developing countries will experience food shortages, which will lead to starvation. And number five, not enough water. A ton of our water supplies come from melting glaciers and ice caps. As I said before, much of the fresh water on Earth is locked up in ice. I actually grew up in a city where the reservoir was directly linked to mountain rivers. Glaciers are natural reservoirs. They store water in the winter and release it in the summer. But if the ice melts, many places that rely on that glacial freshwater will be 
pretty much screwed. Rivers that nourish cities will dry up and there won't be enough water to go around. And number four, rising sea levels. The recent report by the UN found that sea levels are rising 3.66 millimeters a year, which is two and a half times faster than they were rising between the years 1900 to 1990. The sea levels are rising because sea ice in Greenland and Antarctica is melting. Rising sea levels lead to flooded cities. It's stated in the report that sea levels could rise by an entire meter by the year 2100. By the year 2300, the sea levels could rise by more than five meters. Coastal cities like New York will become submerged. Of course, the skyscrapers won't be emerged, but up to a meter of the ground will. Maybe they'll turn New York into like one giant Venice where you have to take a gondola to work instead of an Uber. Other coastal cities will experience a huge flood every single year that normally only takes place every hundred years. Cities like Los Angeles, Miami, Honolulu, Singapore, Barcelona, Sydney, Lima, Bangkok, and Manila. In at three, islands will disappear off the face of the planet. If all the ice melts, the sea levels will rise to the point that islands that have a very low sea level to begin with will disappear. Do you like Hawaii? Yeah. Honolulu has already experienced severe sea level rise, so much so that they're redesigning aspects of the city like the rail system to be elevated. Many parts of the world will become uninhabitable. Scientists are saying that many areas of the world, especially island nations, will be uninhabitable and that's directly due to climate change and melting ice. Getting close now, are you scared yet? In at number two, a decline in human health. How does a warming ocean affect human health? Well, there's been outbreaks of Vibrio poisoning that causes gastrointestinal illness. Vibrio poisoning is directly attributed to shellfish living in warm water. Fish and other marine life make up a huge part of people's diet in many parts of the world, especially parts of the world close to the ocean. The report states that for many places, a decline in fish distribution will cause a 20 to 30% decrease in nutrient intake for humans. And the number one scariest result of the ice caps melting is disease locked up in permafrost, which is frozen soil, suddenly coming back to life. There are thousand year old diseases and viruses frozen in ice caps and permafrost frost that have laid dormant for centuries. Sure, we have antibiotics for many of the viruses that are currently circulating, but we most certainly do not have antibiotics for bacteria and viruses that have been locked up in permafrost for thousands of years. Back in 2016, in a remote part of the Siberian tundra in the Arctic Circle, a 12-year-old boy died and 20 more were hospitalized. The reason? anthrax. It's believed that a deer died from anthrax around 75 years ago and its carcass was in permafrost. During a heat wave in 2016, the permafrost thawed, exposing the reindeer corpse and the anthrax it was infected with. The virus got into the soil and water and then into the food. 2,000 reindeer became infected and then so did humans. That's just one example. As the earth gets warmer, the ice melts, so too will permafrost, which is the perfect place for bacteria that's even a million years old to remain dormant. Well guys, there you have it. You just heard the top 10 scary things that will happen if all the ice melts. Did I miss anything? Do you have anxiety? It's okay. Let me know in those comments. For now, I'm going to wrap up this video with some comment features. Frank Evans said, Charlotte, will you marry me? Frank, you ask this question on every video and I just, I just don't marry people I don't know. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint, but I don't know you. <laughs> it's nice. It's cute. Maybe you'll catch me on a bad day and then I'll say yes. <laughs> it's a she said, bro, can I be in a video? No. Fine. Anderson Baraja said, is this the best information channel? Maybe not, maybe so, we may never know. I see that you made a rhyme. We might not be the best information channel, but we are the best information channel that will feed you facts, make you laugh, and give you anxiety all at once. Okay, that's it for me, thanks for watching. If you wanna keep watching, we put together a playlist for you with a bunch of videos like this one. And uh, make sure you leave a like if you like this video. Subscribe if you want more. And maybe I'm gonna see you in a future IO video.